DPO pregnancy test video. So I'm gonna be testing, I have my cup right here. I have the first response early results six days sooner test. So I'm going to be testing today. So I'm gonna get started. So this is what the test looks like. One line not pregnant, two lines pregnant. So I'm going to dip the test and cover it with the wrapper for about three minutes, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. You can see it's going across right here. So I'm going to set it right here, cover it up, and I guess check back in three minutes. Okay, so it's been about four minutes and I actually put like a piece of toilet paper under the test. So I'm going to lift this up and share the results. So this is what it's looking like. The lighting is really bad in here. Let me open the blinds real quick just to give some natural lighting. Okay, so I did open the blinds and this is what it looks like. It's like really hard to see the test result window. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, you guys, so it is the morning. I just door dashed these to my house. Don't mind my voice, I just woke up and ordered these right away. So I have the first response triple check results in three different ways. So I guess like the regular early detection, the digital and the rapid. So that's what this looks like. sure if I should use all of these or just one. I guess we'll start off with the early result and then see what that says and then go from there. So this is the rapid. This is the digital. And this is the early result. So we're going to start off with this one and possibly use those two as well. Let me get my cup right here. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my... FMU, although I did get up a couple of hours ago to use the restroom, so I'm not exactly sure if it's considered FMU. I'm not sure of how long this hold was, a couple of hours, I guess. So the die is going across. It's going across. I'm going to set this right here. And I'll see you guys in about three minutes. Okay, so it's been about two minutes. The rapid result, I was just reading the directions and it says that you get results in one minute. So I figured I would just dip this one too. So 
that's what it looks like. It looks the same as the early result. And I figured I could just compare results on each test. The dye is moving across. So I'm gonna cover that one too and I will be back for both results in one minute. Okay, it's been about a minute later. I opened the blinds so we have a little more lighting, natural lighting, I guess, because my bathroom lights are yellow, so they're not too great. But again, I put a piece of toilet paper under here. I'm going to flip the camera around for you guys so we can check. I do know from past experiences that the rapid result is less sensitive than the whoops than the early result so let's check and see the results the top one is rapid result the bottom one is early result okay so again the bottom one is early result the top one is the rapid result, not as sensitive. What do you guys think? So these are my results for the early result and rapid result. What do you guys think? I'm gonna save the digital for tomorrow morning, but this is my result. I'm gonna end the video here and see you guys tomorrow. Okay, you guys, so I'm super impatient and I decided that I'm going to be taking the digital first response. I just figured I would buy another box of these for tomorrow morning, so that's fine. This is what it looks like. I don't know if that clock is supposed to be there, but we shall see. I'm gonna dip it. Okay. So I guess it was supposed to be there. Now it's blinking. Maybe I'll lay it flat and show you guys. So it says no. Let me show you guys my other test. I'll go get my 9 DPO test for you guys. Okay, so there's the 9 DPO AM, 9 DPO PM. So I will be back tomorrow at 11 DPO. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys then. Okay, you guys, it is 11 DPO. I'm gonna be super quiet. Everybody's sleeping. I'm just going to get right into the test. So I just have the first response and I have my FMU right here. So I did buy another pack of first response and these ones are like different. They have like a pink cap, which is different. I've never seen that before. Okay, so we're gonna dip. One, two, three, four, So it is going across. Okay, so it's almost across. So 
So I'm gonna wait three minutes and I will be back to show you guys the results. I'm gonna cover this up right here. Okay, I'll see you guys in three minutes. Okay, so it's been three minutes. This is the result. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll switch the camera the other way. Okay, so it's super sunny out right now, but this is the result, you guys. I'll put it in the sun. I'll try to. And then, if you're just looking at it, this is what you see. So, this is the result for 11 DPO. So I just took some pregnancy tests, and you guys, I'm freaking out. I'm I'm freaking out. So I'm going to show you guys the results. So here are the test results and guys, I'm pregnant. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I guess the strip tests aren't as sensitive, but you can see a second line and the digital says yes. And then that's the line on the first response early result line test. You guys, I'm freaking out. I cannot believe this. So baby number seven on the way and I'm like so out of breath right now. I'm just so in shock. Oh my goodness, such a blessing from the Lord. You can definitely see the lines. This tells me right here that they are correct. Oh my goodness, you guys. I can't even, I can't believe. I just can't believe it. Every baby is such a blessing from the Lord. This is lucky baby number seven, and wow, you guys, oh my goodness. I do look a mess, my hair is a mess, but I just wanted to test. I'm gonna share my journey with you guys, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully the lines get darker. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry about the lighting. I'm in my downstairs bathroom, and basically, all of my lighting in this house is like yellow. I have to change that soon because it doesn't look good in videos. But I just got back from Target. I have some first response here. I believe I'm 17 DPO from what my app says, but here's the test. I don't know how accurate my apps really are. I mean, I thought they've always been pretty accurate, but my lines have been really weird. So that kind of worried me. I've had a miscarriage before, so that's also concerning. But if I'm 17 DPO, usually by now I have like a line stealer and I haven't had that yet. Well, like a control line stealer. What is it called? A dye stealer, not a line stealer. A line stealer. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, a dye stealer. So I have not had a dye stealer yet on a test. And by now you would think I would. So I'm gonna take this now and show you guys the results. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I am kind of crampy, so I don't know you guys. I guess we'll take the test and find out and I will share the results with you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna open the box. Comes with three tests. Put that down there. This is what it looks like before another pink cap first response. I'm gonna dip it. Okay. So you can see the dye going across. Don't mind my nails. I just took my press-ons off and before that I had acrylic nails on and they ruined my nails. So I'm trying not to get acrylics or glue nails on. So I've just been doing press on. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for like three minutes. And I do see two lines already, like right away. And this might be a dye stealer because I didn't see the control line pop up super dark right away. I don't know. I'm going to set this right here and I'll be back in three minutes. Okay, so it's been three minutes. I'm going to see what the test says. So I kind of think it's a dye stealer, actually. It's harder to see on camera. Let me switch the camera around. 
Okay, so you can see it much better, and I believe the test line is darker than the control line now. What do you guys think? Which is definitely a relief, but I'm still having cramps and just, I don't know, I'm still anxious, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna test tomorrow at 18 DPO, according to my app. I'm not sure if it's 100% correct or not I don't know I'm just really worried because they were dark and then they were light and then they were dark and then they got darker and darker and darker and stayed darker but I'm still I don't know I'm still worried a little bit okay you guys so I'm just anxious and worried just because I've had a miscarriage in the past and today I started getting cramps actually just a little bit ago so I'm just going to keep testing I guess I still have those two tests so I'll take one in the morning and keep you guys updated. Fingers crossed, it gets darker. I know cramping in pregnancy is normal. I've had it with all my other pregnancies and it felt like I was gonna get my period, but I didn't. I had all the symptoms of it coming and it never did, even after I got positive pregnancy tests. Just like this time, but I don't know. This time it's just been a little weird. The lines have been really weird, but once they have gotten darker they stayed darker and now this is to me it looks like a dye stealer do i keep saying line stealer i mean dye stealer but i don't know i'll keep you guys updated and of course if anything happens i'll let you guys know i'm like so out of breath having cramps headaches this headache will not go away it's like in my neck it's not a migraine it's not like a regular headache. It's a weird headache. I don't know, you guys. I'm really nervous. I don't know. All we can do is, time will tell, so all we can do is wait. I'm going to leave it up to God, put it in God's hands, of course, like always, like everything else. And we'll see what happens. I have faith. I have faith in God. I know God will take care of me no matter what the situation is. Whatever is meant to be will be, and I know chemical pregnancies and miscarriages happen early, usually due to something being wrong with the baby. So I believe that's what causes a chemical pregnancy or a super early miscarriage. So I'm gonna leave it all up to God, leave it in God's hands, and whatever happens from here on out, I will keep you guys updated so make sure you guys if you're interested in knowing stay tuned and yeah I hope to see you all on my next video thank you all so much for watching bye guys